about um, vectorizing and smoothing your lines with some liner. So this is a little sugar skull I quickly did. Um, I just took a picture of it because I don't have access to a scanner right now. But if you can, scan. So as the lines aren't very black or white, I'm just going to use the levels tool here. And make my lines really black and my whites really white. Um, so I'm going to make it white, white. Okay, so that is good. Right. Um, so now I've got black and white. Um, I'm going to go to select color range. Um, I'm going to go through a few methods today, but this is one of them. Um, and yeah, so I can either select the whites, but I'm going to select the blacks today because um, that's what I want to smooth. Um, yeah, so this is why I made them really black. So it's all, it's going to select all my lines. Um, sometimes I kind of find it worth hiding this layer so I can see more what I'm working with. So then you go to modify and you can smooth it. So if I smooth it by 10 pixels, it will smooth out a lot of my lines, but maybe you want 5 or you can just experiment and undo, but so I'm going to smooth it by 5 pixels. Um, a good way to view it like better um, is go to um, edit in quick math mode. Um, so here you can kind of see my selection a bit more. Um, so I might, if I like, I don't know, wanted you could put a layer underneath, a white layer, and you'd see this better. But if, say, I, I don't know, wanted to get a bit more back here, I can. So you can basically edit it um, if you didn't like it. Um, and then you can go off this. Another thing you could do is you can expand or contract. So if I wanted my lines to be a pixel thicker, or two pixels thicker, I can do that, and it just did it. Or if I then wanted to make them thinner, I can contract them by two pixels, so it'll be back to where it was. Um, when you're done and you feel like you know it's really smooth, sometimes I will smooth something so much if it's a line art and I really haven't drawn it that well. You know, I might smooth it by 20 odd pixels or more. Sometimes, if you smooth it too much, you'll get gaps though where lines won't join up. Um, but you can just undo it, fiddle with it. Um, so when say I was happy with this, um, I go to paths under the layers thing and I press this one here and it's going to, right, so it's done um, so then you want to make a new layer um, and you just, you can either do a stroke and it, so, I don't know if this is going to, sorry about that um, so yeah, this is just going to make an outline of all my lines um, if, which looks quite cool I guess, um, if you were well, like, oh, the stroke's not right, it's not the right size, it does it by the size of the pen. So you have to just kind of undo and redo it until you get it right. Um, but say I was like, no, I want to fill all my lines, um, you press this one here and it fills them all in black. It looks a little weird because the path is still there. So then you can just delete it. And then you have a thing and you can add a white background, whatever background you want. Um, another way, and I'll turn away, this is like a lot more time consuming. If you wanted, say, all your lines to be the same size, this would be the way you do it. Um, so that's my like one I just did. So you can literally create paths with the pen tool like you did there. So, I mean, this would take forever, but I mean, people do it. You um, basically just make lines with this. Um, you can um, press Alt and you can make nicer curves. Um, I'm still not very good at pen, the pen tool, I've only really been using this for the past few days. Um, but say I were to go around the whole shape, you can then either doing the same, go back to your paths thing on the layers tab. Um, and so I'm just going to do this really badly. Um, but then you can make, convert them into shapes and add strokes, or you can do paths, you can make it into a path like I just did, or whatever, but you could basically go around everything making this look really horrible, but if I'd done it properly. Um, um, I don't know if this is going to work because I went down here for some reason. Okay, this will make a really, really dodgy shape, but um, say I went to, so I can either go to shape here, um, and it will make it a shape. Um, and I could then, I think, 
and make, yeah, and give it a stroke. Um, so I can make the use all the same size. Yeah, I really haven't done that very nicely. Or um, if I go back to my pen tool, I can make a mask, which isn't that useful, or I could make a selection and do the same thing I just did and smooth it. So I could like go back to that thing and smooth it again. So if I was like smoothing it for 20 pixels, it would make it a lot nicer. Um, which I'm still working on. And then I could do the same thing again and make, oh I probably want to delete that because that will be my old one, which isn't smoothed. Um, and then I'd make a new path. And then I could, um, probably want me to do a new layer, yeah. Um, and then I could stroke it again if I wanted it a certain size. Um, but I'd probably... Oh yeah, the stroke here, you can hover over it, but I'm pretty sure it comes from the shapes tool, so it's only on one pixel right now, so um, I can't remember how you do Well, there is a way to adjust it, and when you hover over it, sometimes, it tells you where the stroke comes from. Yeah. Oh no, it does come from the brush. Wrong. Um, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Um, oh, that's because I didn't press it. <laughs> yeah, so then you can do the same kind of thing. So yeah, those are a few ways of um, vectorizing.